<laughs> it is Friday. First up on my to-do list today, I tried to de-bloat my face following last night's uh, night out. Actually, we didn't even drink a lot. Last night I had a little date night in the Arts District in LA where I think I've only been to one time. It's like a bunch of breweries and stuff. So today I'm just feeling a little, a little um, puffed up and bloated. <laughs> So this is straight out of the fridge trying to calm that down. If you are in LA, Arts District Brewing Co. was like the name of the first place we went. And I ate dinner there. They had this Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Holy cow, it was so good. I think that's all I talked about the whole time. But I was like, that, this is the best thing I've ever tasted. I have an exciting evening ahead. It's early in the morning at this point. I have a lot to do today. Um, not stressing. I think it's going to be fun hosting a little summer outdoor dinner party tonight with my best friends victoria and caitlin and shelby was going to come but she's in palm springs now and then my girlfriend caitlin's boyfriend alex and also jill and connor my voice sounds horrible right now i actually feel fine my voice just sounds bad i had bigger plans for things to do this week and to be vlogging more and i came down apparently it was so weird but like my second non-covid cold of like the past few weeks a couple days ago my throat started hurting and i was like great another thing trying to kick it the next day like my throat didn't hurt but then i was coughing but I didn't really feel congested maybe like slightly and then the next day that also went away And then now my voice just sounds weird and that's where I'm at now. It's like a very weird like Symptom roulette like every day. We just wake up with something else when I got COVID tested got my results back like 24 hours later Don't have it. It's just some other weird weird thing, but I listened to my body and for once I just rested so um, Yesterday I worked like normal, but Tuesday and Wednesday I literally slept and I slept for like 16 hours. The hours I was awake, like I may as well have been asleep. Like my brain was not there. I was so out of it. So maybe I just like ran myself down. I'm so tired. I really don't know. But exciting things coming up tonight. I'm going to tell you about it a little bit later. I have a little dinner party outside taking advantage of like my last month-ish of living in this house. I'm out of space on this memory card, so I will tell you about it later. But a bunch of us are just going to cook together. It's going to be a fun night. And I have of course, some fun details planned. All right, so before we get too into tonight's dinner party festivities, I wanted to thank Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I've worked with them so many times as well as just talked about Princess Polly items and like my summer favorites videos, like things like that. They are my favorite place to shop. So um, like this one I'm already wearing today is from there, but they snow over a few different items, kind of just, I mean, all over the place. We have like a couple fall winter things, like some graphic tees, some summery items that I picked out a little bit with for some of them. Um, I'm actually gonna be going to San Francisco very shortly. So I picked out a few items for that. And also just picked out a few other items that are similar to things I already own from Princess Polly that I know I love and wear a lot. So um, yeah, tried and trusted favorites in this video. If you want to shop, I'm gonna have everything I show linked below as well as you can get 20% off with the code MorganXOXO. And if you're not familiar with Princess Polly, they're especially my favorite place to shop like in a time crunch like when I went to Cabo in July pretty much every single thing I was wearing was from Princess Polly that I just that wasn't sponsored I just ordered it on my own because I was down to the wire and I can always count on them for really fast shipping so if you spend $50 that you actually get free express shipping which is three to four days to me it has always come way faster than three to four days it is like a one to two day situation at least in my experience maybe that's because where I live but it ships from the US and you can get free express shipping so they also offer after pay again just some great savings so I'm gonna try all these items on. First up, because you'll see me trying, wearing these in most of the try-on clips, I got this dark wash pair of jeans that I am obsessed with. I didn't have any jeans this color. These are the perfect length. They're like right at my ankles. These are super cute with heels or booties and they are just high-waisted. Jeans are all about the pocket placement. You want a small pocket that is like lifted up and makes your butt look the best. I'm all about how these fit. I think they are so cute. I got size eight and everything, I think. And then next I got just a couple of graphic tees. Actually, they're both Guns N' Roses tees. I did not realize. Princess Paula t-shirts are just super comfortable. They're like a very soft t-shirt material. Like, I feel like a lot of t-shirts are kind of more like a rigid cotton. These are super, super soft and comfy. I think I got these in like a large or extra large because I like the over size fit um and i thought these could even look cute you know you could like tie them up if you want to give them like a more cropped feel or you could just wear them long like over a pair of jeans like this i feel like that actually looked pretty good and then for a couple fun tops because a while back i'll link it i'll link all of my like Cabo favorite like Princess Polly classics not even just Cabo but like the items I've been wearing from them a lot if I can find them on their website from like the last time I bought from them since that wasn't part of a haul or anything but I don't know if this is still available but this is one of the things I got from them at that time is this like super cute like lacy black crop top I wear this constantly so I went back to try to find some similar tops first up in just like a little light creamy color we got this one I think it's super cute we have like 
some pleated details going on here. In the back, the straps just go up from the middle. So this one's more of like a satiny material. And then this one is more of like a cloth. It feels more of like a stretchy cotton material almost, but it has that same like lacy detail, the same like cup cutout and the same type of straps. And it's just super comfortable. So I love all of these. And then next up, I got this bodysuit that you can tell much better in the try on clips what this looks like, but I just thought it was so, it's like a funky little bodysuit option. It's ribbed, it snaps at the bottom. And I thought this would be a good like going out top as in like chillier times. I don't know. I just thought it was unique and really cute. And then also in the spirit of some cooler weather, whenever we get that eventually, or when I actually think I'm going to take a trip to New York, um, here in October. So I picked this out with that in mind, but I got a little blazer option and then this jacket option, which I am obsessed with. So this is like a soft material. It's not like too, too heavyweight, but it's not lightweight. I think this is a perfect like fall jacket. And it's just like a little trench coat vibe. I love a long jacket. I think they are so flattering. It's really good quality. I got a medium slash large in this and it's super cozy. So I would highly recommend that. And then I also picked out this little like light colored blazer. We have this print going on and this is a super lightweight blazer as you can tell it is like a fabric that needs to be steamed, which reminds me I need to order a new steamer. And I would wear this just with some jeans and like a nude bandeau or like just beige or white tank top or something like that. So, and then for some accessories, I love Princess Polly Jewelry. It's one of the two brands I wear just constantly. So first I just picked up this ring. It's like a little chain link vibe. I also got this bracelet set because I have like a solid stack of bracelets on my right hand, but I want to start doing it on the left as well. And especially, I really love this style. I have a necklace just like this from Princess Polly. So I thought those were just unique and would be really cute. And then I got a solid set of hoops that are a little bit thicker. I'm always either wearing like really big hoops or really tiny ones. So I thought those were a good in-between that are just plain. And then I just got another ring that is adjustable. And when it's on, it looks like it's uh, like two rings, but they are connected. And then I also picked up two pairs of sunglasses. This pair of sunglasses <laughs> has been my favorite pair of sunglasses that I've owned for years and years. I'm not someone who really invests in like super expensive sunglasses. These are so affordable and really good quality for the price. I mean, look back on my Instagram, you'll see these in like every photo for the past several years until finally I just thought it was time to get a new pair because they had just, I didn't take care of them necessarily. Like I would just cram them in my purses and stuff. So eventually they got pretty scratched up, but they lasted me such a long time and I thought I would just pick up a pair in black as well. Highly, highly recommend these. If you're ever wondering where my sunglasses are from, it is always Princess Polly. Also just side note in the try on clips, um, with all these outfits, I'm wearing one of these two sets of heels that are from Princess Polly that I got back in my summer order. And then lastly, I got these three dresses. They're all pretty and satiny. I'm loving the colors we have going on here. This one is like a super vibrant green that, um, unfortunately, I don't think this is going to work for me. I think this maybe is going to be for somebody with a longer torso. It's super cute. It's midi length. I love their mini dresses. It has this cute slit going on that's usually super flattering. Um, and it has these straps that kind of, it's like a very low back. Like it cuts down really low and in theory, it's this like slouchy front that would be super cute. However, on me, I think because of just like my torso length and like where my shoulders are versus like where this hits, I am popping out of this. So I think if I had fashion tape, I could like tape this on to stay concealed. But I apologize that these try on clips are very limited because any motion and I was like popping out the top. So, and then lastly, in the exact same style, I just got this dress. It's more of a mini dress. It like ties here in the front. The top part has these like snap button closures. So you can decide how open or close you want it. And the sleeves have these little ties on it. They just go like around the wrist. So that's just a really cute detail. And the colors of both of these are really cute for like summer going into fall colors. Again, if you want to shop Princess Polly, you can use my discount code MorganXOXO. I am sweating and I'm now about to go run around. I need to grocery shop. Really start like getting on top of my plans tonight. It's hot out. Quick clip. I'm a little bit stressed. Today, things have been... I don't even know what I've accomplished. I've been busy since the moment I woke up and it's now two o'clock, which is later than I wanted to be going to the grocery store. So I'm a little bit stressed out in the moment, but all is gonna be fine. It was quite time consuming to go through and list all of all the ingredients I need for everything. I actually need to check on to see if I have one thing before I go. Um, but I've made my list of the things I need to go buy at the grocery store. I will run through the menu later. I need to do some cleanup of inside in the kitchen as well as outside. We're gonna end up eating outside and I have some cute little table decor that makes the most sense for me to try to like set up before we even start cooking so yeah it's two would love to be back here by three three thirty get to cleaning by around four set up by five i don't know this is i've signed off i have other responsibilities today but i just have to push those aside so i just love hosting things and i'm running out of time to do it here so it's gonna be a wonderful night but wanting to have a dinner party since we've moved here and really the only thing i've done that was similar was my like birthday dinner where we like recreated catch my favorite restaurant so 
excited for tonight. Gonna be a little fun night in. I'm back. Um, I just cleaned off the dining table. I got a little table runner. I got a couple different options for whatever these things are called that like go under your plate placemat. I have an idea for like some candle displays down the center of the table and some floral arrangements. Also, it's gonna be party of seven, so I need to figure out another chair to squeeze in as well. Wednesday. Just, we are in neutral spirits today. So cloudy and cozy today. I'm taking this outside for for some updates. Quite a little, probably long, chatty segment ahead. Just taking advantage of it feeling actually kind of nice out in LA today. Um, ironically, today, me and Shelby and Victoria and Caitlin, we're gonna have like a midweek pool day actually. But we woke up and it was raining and it's been like dark and cloudy and gloomy and like kind of a vibe all day. Like I was kind of here for it. I've really been enjoying just like working from bed today. It just feels very cozy and has me like so excited for fall. Hence like my cardigan, you know, like <laughs> I'm just, I just feel like there's so many fall activities. I know that's such a basic girl thing to say that I always found annoying but like as time goes on you know there are just so many great activities for fall so our pool day did not happen it's now getting a little brighter a few updates loved the dinner party been making some little dinner party tiktoks today I've really been thriving on tiktok I feel like that's been like just a good creative outlet for me lately I know I haven't been posting the most main channel videos because I a, just feel like I don't have that many ideas but B I mean it's kind of the same as vlogging at this point it's just like I don't like filming here feeling like everyone can hear me I get in my own head about it which is like my problem and I just feel like I act weird knowing everyone can hear me which like wouldn't be an issue if I were like close with the people but like here we are so that's also honestly why there haven't been as many videos is because I feel just very limited and how I try to like do things when people aren't home TikTok has been like a really fun creative place it's been fun just like capturing fun things I'm doing and like turning them into TikToks and people really love the girlfriend content so apparently that's what does well but I wanted to do my moving reveal of where I'm going to um I am so excited to move I just like I literally am counting down the days I can and I'm also gone two of the weekends between now and then um my moving day is going to be September 11th or 12th I've locked in the movers we're figuring out the day at the moment um based on what they can do but I'm gonna be moving that weekend and I just cannot wait for like vlog like to freely vlog saying this to Shelby I feel like I literally have like social anxiety like in my home it's on it's gotten worse this is like also things have just gotten worse lately which is why I'm just like trying to move out I just try to avoid everyone here and just like stay in my room and that unfortunately is what this has come to and I just like feel anxiety about being here honestly but the grand reveal of where I'm going is actually a townhouse I toured I will insert some footage here honestly it was a very quick tour I don't know why it felt just kind of like a quick experience like I didn't get the most footage of it but it's this beautiful townhome it's two bedrooms two and a half bathrooms and it's three stories you like walk in on the first floor there's nothing really there except for like it connects to like the garage and then you go up a flight of stairs you have your main level like living kitchen which is so beautiful i love the island in there and then another flight of stairs up to two bedrooms and what was great about this place and actually like ended up giving me like, such a better deal is that they had like a two and three bedroom unit available but the square footage of the two places is like basically the same so i went in both and literally all of us was just like the bedrooms and the three bedroom are smaller and yet you would have to pay like a thousand dollars more and i don't need three bedrooms so i was like this is incredible this is what i've been looking for is a place that actually has a decent sized bedroom to like fit a bed and a dresser like what a concept there's also an outdoor space so i'm gonna be able to take my outdoor furniture my dining table fit i don't have a couch so i need to like figure that out once i get there like i actually get my keys before like going in to move the weekend in september so i'm gonna go and like measure and like put tape down for like where stuff's gonna go to like get a better idea of that so follow along in the vlogs we're gonna have more of that i think i'm gonna even do like a big main channel like cleaning out my life here video i'll do like a big moving day vlog when i eventually move or like from moving weekend that'll probably go on my main channel as well and i'm just really excited so i feel great about this option this was the first place i toured that i just like loved could really see myself in and was like really excited to like move to and that like didn't feel like i 
would just always be comparing it to like living here. I'm heading out of town tomorrow. I did basically nothing this past weekend. I was helping a friend set up their classroom because I now I now have a teacher in my life. So, and I have seen firsthand if you're a teacher, I mean, mad respect. I've just seen a lot, so much like work and money just really goes into it. I just have a whole new respect for teachers, I feel like. Over the weekend, I was setting up a classroom that the AC conveniently was not working in. Kind of miserable experience. <laughs> the weekend, and then last night, my girlfriend and I went to this restaurant called Cara, or it's at the Cara Hotel. I've been seeing it all over TikTok. It was, the drinks were really good. The drinks were really strong. The food was good, but I've had of like all the dishes, I've had better elsewhere. Pretty expensive place. And like the food wasn't memorable. Like I don't, I'm never gonna, we were like, we're never gonna like crave this food till I come back here. But glad we tried it. It was like a cute little spot. My girlfriend knew someone that was working there who like came by. We were like meeting whatever and she was like asking how long we'd been dating. And my girlfriend told her it was like technically yesterday. It was like our, it's our three month like official anniversary. You know, millennial dating thing. It's actually been six months since our first date. And like literally since our first date, we were talking about this. Neither of us have been on a date with anyone else. We were not seeing anyone else for like the entire time. So like, it feels like we've been dating for six months. We're like, in a way it sounds just like so small saying three months when it feels like six but anyways the girl sent out like a little dessert that said happy anniversary on it and then like our waiter i guess probably thought it was like years or something i don't know so it's funny but tomorrow morning i am heading out of town i'm going to san francisco for the weekend which should be fun um i think i'm gonna go to vegas for labor day weekend which should be fun so it only really puts me with like one more weekend before moving weekend so we have lots of cleaning out and packing to do before then and i need to pack tonight for my trip so there's so lots of updates i hope you guys are having a wonderful week probably not really doing anything else tonight yeah, I think it's good. but that sounds yeah. fun